as mentioned, uh, I was given uh, an electroplating kit for Christmas, and I've already gold plated a white metal steam dome. I'm going to have an experiment to see how easy it is or not to plate and copper plate um, a PLA printed figure in this instance. Now this is a, a little dog that's PLA printed. PLA is the coarse plastic, it's the almost old-fashioned 3D printing, but we've got a little 3D printer and it does very well. This here is a figure of a young lady printed uh, about 7mm scale um, in PLA and last night I painted it in uh, a conductive carbon paint, as it were, a graphite paint, that's it, and I gave that a good stir and then brushed it on um, as evenly as possible because I don't want to lose the detail. So it's had one coat of uh, that paint and it's been dried for about 20 hours now. And um, I've never used this before. You can see it's grey underneath. Uh, the idea is it's conductive, so um, the uh, electro electrolysis will work with it, but I want to see, I want to check that it will actually conduct. So I've got this multimeter set to make a sound if it'll conduct. Yes. A bit less so that way. Let's have a look. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, I'm going to say that yes, that conducts. So the next job will be to set her up for plating. Um, I shall do that off camera because uh, it'll be boring and take a little bit of time, but I'll show you the results in uh, a few minutes. Stand by. Right. Okay. So all I've done in the intervening couple of minutes is I've got some copper wire and I've wrapped it around the pedestal of this figure, which should hopefully get the volts through and just... Um, Put her on a cocktail stick like that, and then she's going in this beaker. I'm just going to put a board behind so we can see a bit more clearly. Like that, and perhaps that will show up a little bit better. And this little beaker is going to be our tank. Now uh, we have, with this teeny little kit, we have two pieces of copper. These are our anodes. Oops, Daisy. Not supposed to be throwing them about. Uh, the anodes are the positive uh, circuit. So I will clip the red wire to one of those, like that. And we have another one, which goes on the other side, like that. And the other red wire will clip to that and that also just holds that in place and the uh, figure we're going to electro electroplate dangles in the middle and uh, we have here this uh, bottle of electrolyte now you'll see written up written in my handwriting on top there, 1.2 V, 1.2 volts. That is the voltage at which I will be plating this. I plan on only putting in quite a thin layer on this, uh, because if we go too thick we will lose the 
detail and I don't want to do it. That's assuming it works at all. So I'm going to pour this electrolyte in and I just want to cover the figure. Oops. There we go. Now I want to readjust it. Uh, it's very important of course that the thing I'm plating doesn't touch the electrode, which it is at the moment. Right, that's now free of that. And I have the cathode wire, the negative, which I'm going to clip onto the copper wire. Uh, now I need to do so in such a way whereby it doesn't spin the thing round. Let's have a look at and get it like that. Not quite. Let us cheat and go underneath. Let us cheat even more. Slide the thing along. Like that, and use a crocodile clip to hold it level. And grip the thing and my delicate hands. That's going to be a little bit prone to uh, uh, falling out. Let's see what I can do about that. Use this monster clip on the other side just to keep it weighted down. This, this is what comes with doing it live to camera. Right, that's perfect. So the figure is entirely submerged and that's not going anywhere. Now I'm just going to swing the camera around so you can see power supply, nice power supply there. I'm going to turn the volts right off like that. Now, um, the top one is the voltage, the bottom is the amps. Nothing's flowing at the moment, so we'll wind the volts up. As I say, I want, I think, 1.2 volts. And you can see the amps start Coming up, whoops, I've done the volts, 1.2. Right, and about 0.3 amps, that's quite high on the amps. Might see if we can kick it back just a teeny bit. Keep the amps down. So, that is actually, whoops, let's... Uh, It's all a bit tweaking. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. Um, that is actually plating at the moment. And we'll do this in real time. We'll have a look. And it's probably been going for, what, 30 seconds at the moment? Now, of course, um, copper-plated figures aren't, aren't a great deal of use to us railway-wise, uh, but uh, what would be is copper pipe work. Uh, now, for that, of course, we're just uh, uh, doing uh, white metal castings, which is... Um, very useful. We know how successful that is because the steam dome that we gold plated, which worked really well. Um, I was very, very pleased with that. Now, bear in mind this may not work for whatever reason. Um, I hope it does, but one, one never knows. 
um, the powder might just burn off because it's too thin for the amps. Don't know. Um, but uh, if we can copper plate easily, you never know. And once you've got it copper plated, uh, silver, gold, what have you, is really, really very easy. Um, and uh, plating on plastics, etc., has got to be uh, quite useful. And if we can do it in a domestic environment, that's absolutely great. I'm just going to pull it out and we'll have a quick look as it's working. I'll just zoom in so you can see as, as I see. Um, it'll be a bit exciting. As I say, I've not done this before. I don't know how it's going to look. Good heavens! Can you see that? And that's in, what, 90 seconds or so. So I'm going to... Uh, we're showing 0.5 volts on that. I'm certainly not going to increase that. Uh, 0.6 volts. No, yeah, 0.6 volts. And uh, nearly 0.5 of an amp. Um, that really is remarkable. And this is just with this... Uh, graphite paint which just brushed on with a normal modelling brush. I was careful to go quite thin with it um, purely because I don't want to obliterate the detail. I was equally careful to stir it up nice and uh, thoroughly. I got this from Amazon um, I think it was best part of a tenner However, they sell exactly the same stuff, uh, calling it shielding paint, for about a fiver, uh, I've subsequently discovered. Um, so I heartily recommend it at any rate. Uh, so we're around three minutes now. Have another deck out. Wow, 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 wow. Um, okay, and I'm going to call a halt at that. Turn the electrics off. Take the cathode off and pull that. And I'm just going to give it a quick rinse in some water. Bear with me. Now then. I confess I am amazed at that. Uh, we're a little dark on the top of the head, no real surprise. So the top of the head could have obviously done with a, uh, another minute or so. Uh, but generally, generally that is quite superb. Um, I'm just going to give her a bit of a buff up. which you will see brightens uh, and this is just the kitchen towel it's not actually including any polish at all a teeny teeny
holiday on her nose, the end of her nose. Um, but this is sort of the same level of detail as she printed at. Uh, I see no uh, appreciable loss of detail from from the print. Obviously there must be some very small loss, but uh, nothing too significant, that's for sure. Um, absolutely remarkable. Uh, I might just dunk her in for another uh, short while just to get her head a bit more um, uh, cooked. But that's the first time I've uh, coated a piece of plastic, for want of a better word, and I'm stunned, I'm absolutely stunned. I would gold plate her, but actually I, I have no use for a gold plated O gauge figure. Um, but, wow. So, um, electroplating. Uh, Tim, by the replacements on Amazon Music. Oh, uh, Alexa, for heaven's sake. Alexa, be quiet. Alexa, be quiet. Um, but electroplating uh, is extremely viable and uh, certainly easy and practical to do, even on plastics. Um, it may be I have a very good solution. I don't know. This one came from Germany. Uh, it certainly works extremely well. Uh, I don't know uh, where the quality is coming from particularly, but certainly I have a very happy combination and I'm extremely happy and pleased about it. I hope you find this useful. Tifu uh, are the chemicals I'm using and this kit all came from theirs, courtesy of my wife. They're in Germany at the moment, um, but I dare say other suppliers will do equivalent stuff. Um, and you may consider this technology or craft uh, for, your, for your own needs. I hope you find this useful. Thank you.